Hello and welcome back to another video on the 100 days of code and in the last video we we got started with well in the two videos ago we started on or a video I don't know how it works <laughs> we started on fuex and we went through the fuex state in the video after that we went through the fuex state mutation so we can change the state and add new to do's actually we'll create a to do list a task list and that and now in this video we're going to be going on to getters so we're going to be going through how getters work and how you can use getters to filter through your current state and pass through a different state without mutating your current state, if that made sense. Um, I highly recommend you go back and watch the videos from the start if you haven't already, just so you understand what's going on and where we're at. The first video, you probably should skip what halfway through to get to the actual Fuex state management section where we start with creating this task section. But at the same time, you should probably watch it from the start so you understand everything. Anyway, guys, let's continue on with this video. So now in our getters, so the only thing we're going to be doing in here is filtering through done. So we're going to check which videos, uh, which videos, which tasks are done. And we are going to, we're going to filter through them. So we're going to get done tasks and we're going to pass through the state. And we're just going to return the state.tasks.filter. And then we're going to pass the tasks which have task.done. So we're only going to pass back the tasks which are done. So whichever ones are true. Um, and that is it for the actual getter. That's the only function we have to do. We just return a different array. And obviously we've used that to manipulate the state. So now over in the task list where we have the show done model, we've obviously passed through a prop called show done. So if we go back to apps and we have a checklist. Wait, why do we have a checklist? This theme. Oh, let's move this from props and let's pass this in as some data value. I don't know why I thought I was going to do it as a prop. It doesn't need to be a prop. We could just say in here, show done, and we can set this equal to false to start with. Um, so now when we, so this is selected, so now that is good. Um, so we actually need to go to this computed value up here. I was just thinking to myself, that's not right. Uh, task, and we're now in this, we want to, so we only want to display, so we're going to do this. If this dot show done is true, then we are going to return, we're going to create an else statement and pass this one. So if it's false, we're going to return the normal one. But if this is checked, then we are going to pass back the, we're going to return this dot store dot get us and then we're going to say done tasks and that is all we need to do so get us really simple i know this video is going to be super short but again it's all being uploaded at once so hopefully you've gone through them one by one and you're not just got this really short video um but yeah so we have computed we've got our task we've got an if this dot show done so basically let's let's start from the top so in our getters inside of our fuex store we have created a getters and we've created done task which we have passed through the state and then we have returned the state but we filtered it to the only the tasks which are done and now if we go back to task list we've now made sure our our label for our show done is our fee model is equal to show done. So when we checkbox this, it's going to only show the ones which are done. And then in our computed value where we've got tasks, if this dot show done is checked or is equal to true, then we are going to return only the done tasks. Else we're going to return all our tasks. So now let's let's set two to done and let's go show done. And we have a wee error. What is our error? I couldn't tell you right now. Let me have a look. So we've got dot done tasks so now let's go here task dot done so task dot fill a task and then we're going to set task dot done and i believe that looks good but what if i done wrong guys you guys probably already know this but i definitely don't task dot done we have called that done and we we'll set that equal to false so we can actually now use oh let's set that let's pop that out quickly and let's bring it up here we have built in a few a few tool you can download this from the um, Chrome store by just typing in a uh, few JS or few debug dev tool and it will come up with this one you just click install I'll show you what it looks like this little icon here 
Let's right click Vue.js DevTools. That's why it's called. You just install that and you'll get this what we've got here. I've showed this off in another video. So now in task list, show done is equal to false. If we set it to true, task is equal to undefined. So that's our issue there. Our computed tasks is equal to undefined. Let's have a look why. So down in our task list, this dot dollar store dot get us dot done tasks. Is that what it's called? Done tasks. There you go. It is a spelling mistake. That should be equal to done tasks. Now, if we check two as done and we show done, as you can see, we get two. If we uncheck two and go back, as you see, two is unchecked. And we go back. If we task one, two, and three, and we show only the done ones, let's remove or let's untick that one. Let's remove done free and open it back up actually we've still only got that there's no errors task 2 didn't get deleted because we are using the id so this what i explained in the last video by the way how this can be an error um so as you can see everything is working how it should do and this is how you use get so get is very simple it basically is just data you return after manipulating here I get there's some reasons why a lot of people are probably thinking, why don't you just do this inside components? And because for this app, you probably should have that you don't need Fuex for the app I've just done. You don't need Fuex at all. You could use just normal Fuex or even just vanilla JavaScript. But at the same time, imagine in a big app where you've got loads of data and you've got to do a lot of things. You've got to change stuff all the time. So you don't want to be passing your, you don't want to be passing props or offense emitting a fence all the way up to the top level route just to change something so you have to continue on you want to be able to make sure your components or your sorry your your state and your um, data is always consistent and this is basically a global store so you could you in here you could also get from your database you could have something called pulls from your database and then sets tasks equal to that itself and that would or that would probably be an action or a mutation um, again we'll go for actions in another video but I hope I hope you got get us right um, and if anyone's unclear on why you would use this over normal few let ask me in the comments or join, jump over to our discord and ask me there and i will happily help you out with that but for now guys i hope you enjoyed this video give a thumbs up if you did enjoy it hit that subscribe button if you want to see more and if you have any comments or feedback either jump in our discord server link is in the description or just hit in the comments below other than that guys i hope you enjoyed this video the link this git this repository this code base will be in a repository on github and the link will be in the description other than that guys thank you for watching and peace out